see people you know inspired from that uh, idea or something really really does make me happy you know and if they ever need like some kind of help or support advice you know i can still help come on i've only done like physical volunteer work and part-time jobs why can i help people with social problems as well why not <laughs> because that's what i can do now okay i can't help myself i tried countless of times it didn't help i tried to beg for i tried to actually hope and beg that people actually help me with my problems no one did okay it only comes with a one-liner advice a one-liner support you know everything's gonna be all right calm down you know stop being like this stop making negative comments if you're <laughs> I appreciate your help, but can you at least be more supportive, okay? Can you not read the lines? Can you not see how... Uh, how, uh, how terrible, like how high the level of stress of uh, stress going on right now it's not, it's not just like a normal social stress where it's like below 50 Hell, this is like above 90. This is like 100% stress, okay? And I cannot help myself. So I actually like shout in the freaking microphone and try to like send a message, uh, send a message to, the pe uh, to people who can actually hear this. You know, help me. But no, you know, the internet is not the place for you to uh, find advice, apparently, you know, but still... You know, you can still find them, you know, and people can still help you. You can still find solutions. And people still say nowadays, you know, try Googling it. Try Googling it. And what happens? Nothing. Unclear. You know, unsolved. Incomplete. Okay, you cannot. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, social problems need social solutions, okay? Not modern solutions, okay? Even though it is the modern day, this is a modern solution, but this is a social problem. I know I'm, I know I'm still, uh, I'm overreacting, you know, I'm... Uh, over exaggerating uh, my own problems you know seeing that you know me being out of my own friend circle that was created by another friend of mine who was delinquently and undeniably banned banned me just because I did one thing wrong even though I fix the problem and try to like fix him as well you know i mean like i knew the guy for uh ever since uh secondary school he uh entered when when he was 14 years old when he was 14 and we continued from there and we become great friends great friends okay friends that last lasted long for more than a year for more than three years and now he treats me like i'm a stranger i mean do you want to make me look like a stranger do you want to make everyone else look like a stranger okay if you knew the guy then it's fine why do you need to be a stranger to him why do you want to be a stranger to me if you know me you can be honest with me, okay? I mean, like, what's your deal? I mean, I, I can still understand my friend, though. I mean, like, uh, Hex is like, uh, 
a spoiled child that's been pampered you know by his family and and i can see that very clearly you know now that he can't understand from a responsible person's point of view you know for someone who actually work till the sun actually came out someone who did volunteer work just because you know he need he needed the extra money and the uh points for his college stuff thingy and a brother you know a responsible brother to his uh siblings i am that responsible brother to my own siblings he's just a t- brat at this point even 20 years old he's still a brat and now i'm thinking of like researching and seeing people who are like you know the youngest sibling in the family see how it works and how it relates to this problem i guess you know i mean i have this problem with my siblings every now and then it's been solved you know i know that there are still kids you know they don't understand the real world yet but this is a grown man 20 years old even though he's like the uh the youngest sibling in the family he can still be mature as fuck but he's still a brat until now and would you know get and would snap out uh at something that's unnecessary like unpin a message from a channel a discord channel i didn't know okay this is honestly sp- me speaking i didn't know okay i thought it was my personal pins I didn't know, okay? You can say like, "Oh, you didn't know. You should know by now. Uh, you've been using Tesco for so long." <laughs> What the fuck? And even if, and I said sorry. <laughs> and I tried to fix the problem. <laughs> I mean, his problem at least. <laughs> Uh I guess it was just me being hasty, you know, trying to like uh fix a problem that cannot be solved, you know, because of one brat. Yeah. I mean like uh I mean like what does he have to think about his life? Studies, food, playing games. You know, if he can actually mention more than that, then I would appreciate it. I have like <laughs> chores. This unstable family that I need to fix. Okay, I haven't even solved uh, the relationship. Uh, the relationship between me and my dad. You know, after that one incident. You know, me and my mom. We still like have this bond, but now it's like being faded away, you know, because we haven't, you know, do this, done this like bonding, mother son moment, you know, baking brownies together. I mean, like that was, that was like a great opportunity for me to actually bond with my mom, you know. Now it's being faded away because he's, uh, she's getting much more busier at the moment, you know. my siblings <laughs> my siblings and i'm trying to understand them as well you know you know being a toddler and the other one uh attention seeking uh slut i would say but still you know there's th- they they are still my siblings but Uh, I still appreciate their company, you know. 
once a while you know i enjoy their company and they and we made like a lot of great memories together you know not just in vacations but even at the, uh, in the house as well you know we try to fix each other's problems and solve you know each other's uh problems <laughs> uh but yeah i mean like we can you know back up each other once in a while but this friends is like uh playing multiplayer online but you know everyone is living in a different universe everyone is living in a different uh dimension life especially you know one one guy is uh a fo- uh uh one guy is a rich boy who has like nothing else to do other than playing games you know making friends you know unfriending anyone who doesn't benefit them at all or something you know and it's uh, how can i say this uh, and the other person uh is a lonely boy uh with a uh, a poor computer setup who's like trying his best to play uh the games he wants to play with his friends he he can't he, uh he can't play the the games he wants to play on his computer because you know the computer isn't compa- compatible to play those games so he can only but the friend uh but the games he uh his, his friends plays are compatible which is fortunate enough you know trying to like bond with your friends you know still have this uh you know really tough real connection with each other and it's it's hard for me at least you know I mean I've lost a few friends you know friends that I think would have like w- we could have like a much longer relationship together you know and I've lost some of them you know Ev- even though I know that some of them actually take me as like a friend with benefits you know s- someone who you can actually copy uh the test answers in class someone who uh k- makes uh finishes your homework or uh assignments even though they didn't do it their friends did it for them and <laughs> they just accept it no matter what they just accept the end product and friends who just doesn't want to play for fun who just being serious about winning gaming i mean he could afford buying a gaming uh phone a phone that is smooth uh that can run a game smoothly but he cannot f- uh but he can't afford to find a friend someone that he can actually play with a professional gamer or something he can't afford to find that to have that i mean like of course you know human emotions are priceless and at this point humans are priceless you know but people just take other people for granted and it's it's still hard for me to actually uh accept that so yeah i've known the guy for a long time and he treated me like i'm a stranger
I mean, like, who will know, you know? One time you're with a friend at a GameStop and you're enjoying playing games together and then that same friend that you see online through the internet is being this salty bitch who just cannot accept death somehow death in game I mean like I'll try my best you know ra- rather than you know I mean I mean like, I'm still trying I'm going to still try you know uh get myself I- uh back into the friend circle his friend circle you know try my best put the most fake smile that you can ever put for someone who puts a mask for someone who masks himself through the internet i could take it but yeah apparently i have to wear a mask as well that's sad and of course everyone is vulnerable through the internet if you're not careful what am i going to do <laughs> you know i'll still try uh to get back inside his uh friend circle and i'm still uh, and i'm going to uh continue try my best to actually make my friends uh my own friend circle in a different uh discord server you know i mean like i still have like people holding up <laughs> from uh for me and i feel so bad to actually like leave them behind you know because i keep on focusing on his deal on hex's deal you know keeping up with him and his friend circle that i didn't even think about my friend circle you know Oh well. <laughs> Time to change that attitude and maybe start something new. Uh, it's not the first time doing this but still. Good luck to me and uh also uh if uh me from a week later, you know, five a month uh older 10 years times after making this video if you see this again stress boy i don't know if you already changed your name okay i don't know if you already changed your internet name okay uh i hope you're doing good you know i hope you're doing well you know i hope the friend circle that I'm going to do still continues until that date and uh uh I hope you know whatever you do in life you'll succeed in it and if you don't just promise that you know you still have faith in yourself that you uh <laughs> wouldn't just like go pick up a knife and just stab your heart 25 times uh just to kill yourself or something don't commit suicide yet but still if i can still ho- uh hold on to my life you know i can i if i can still carry on with my life you know i hope you can still as well you know you know death is an option but you know when it's more appropriate and useful you know don't use it uh because you d- uh, you don't stand in the world that that you <laughs> hate the world or something you know to give away you know use that ticket death ticket whenever it's ap- most appropriate 
if you're being held hostage and you know you have nothing else to live for and there's nothing else uh, there's nothing no one that you want to go back to you can take that life and just kill yourself then I mean like I mean I know this is not a good <laughs> this is not a good way of saying it but still you know you can still kill kill yourself but make sure it's a good one and make sure <laughs> you know use it either to save someone's life or uh to put an end in someone's misery in summary in short <laughs> okay in short uh terms I hope you live a happy life. I say that to myself every single day, every single night, but still. It's the same as always, but still. I'm going to keep saying I'm going to keep saying that to myself. I hope you uh, enjoy a good life, a happy life. Uh, I hope you appreciate all the help and support from anyone who uh, who's ever, who has ever helped you before. And, uh, you know, if you still don't have friends, uh, <laughs> if you have lost all your friends uh, in the future, you still have yourself. And, you know, imagination is endless at this point, you know, and uh, I know it's sad, but... I hope you can make your own imaginary friends in the near future. I hope for the best as well. Ah, this is going to be so awkward and sad and weird at the same time. Ah, my heart. <laughs> Damn. Keep a hold. Keep hold of yourself. Keep yourself together, man. I mean, like, I'll still do, like, all these vlogs, I guess. You know, I want to do, like, all these vlogs. I cannot edit videos anymore. <laughs> because I... Uh, somehow tried to, like, fix, like, a problem with my PC now. I tried to reset the PC and my everything is gone and my video editing software is gone. Everything is gone, but still my ideas aren't yet and I can still make new ones. Still, uh, a friend is going to come by, I guess, uh, fix with that. Uh, he's going to help me install my editing software. Thank you. I appreciate that and maybe I'll do like a daily vlog or something you know but may just through the phone because you know I still don't have like uh, the a schedule like a proper schedule to actually like edit videos in an hour or so every single day for daily vlogs or daily uh, YouTube videos but I'll still keep on doing those because why? Because I want the people to actually listen to this. Maybe I guess I don't know. I mean, like opportunity can come from anywhere. That's what I believe. And if someone <laughs> actually like tap into my freaking account or something, that's the end of it, I guess. And someone will prob probably terrorize me for it as well. Thank you for listening. This has been Stress Boy. Uh, talking. And uh, I'll see you soon. In the next video. Goodbye. Uh, where's the stop? <laughs> Here it is.